Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve November 2019 university question paper of the subject Innovative Financial Service. Okay, so let us see uh, which questions were asked in this particular paper and how to solve them. Okay, the very first question was on 1st April 2013. Uh, tone up gym purchase a machine. So on 1st April, you purchase a machine from Neil on higher purchase basis. The cash price of the machine was 2 lakhs. Uh, the payment was to be made rupees 1 lakh on the date of agreement and the balance is to installment of 50,000 plus interest. This, 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 this statement means a lot. At 12% per annum payable uh, on 31st March each year. The first installment was made on 31st March 2014. Purchased in April, so it is 13 14 first year. Prepare machinery and kneel account in the books of Tone Up Gym for the financial year 2013 14 and 14 15. So, two years ka, we'll have to prepare ledger account, assuming that the accounts are closed every year and 30 and uh, depreciation is going to be charged at 20% on reducing balance method. Okay, so now let us see how to solve the sum. Now the very first thing we'll do is we'll make a table of calculation of interest, which I've already done. So I'm going to explain you all basically how to solve that particular interest calculation table. Okay, so the heading is interest calculation. We have particulars. First table 2013, okay, 31st March 2014 and 31st March 2015 because two years of data is given. Opening stock, down payment, installment, interest, cash price, and closing balance. This is normal. Now, the cash price of the machine, or you know, the, the opening stock of the machine was 2 lakhs. So I've written here 2 lakh. In the first year, we made a down payment of 1 lakh. So, 1 lakh. So, first uh, on the day when you purchase and you make down payment, there is never an interest. So, cash price is 1 lakh. So, 2 lakh minus 1 lakh. Uh, you know the opening minus cash price is one lakh. That's my first closing balance. Now be careful. Okay, first year ka closing will become uh, next year the in the next one ka opening. So opening is one lakh. Now, whenever they give you that uh, you know some balances is made in installment plus interest. Remember whenever that thing is get with plus interest, always remember whatever amount. Okay. They have given us of the installment that is not that will be nothing but my cash price again when i add plus interest that will be my installment value so here they told you you have two installment plus interest since there is plus interest this fifty thousand will become my cash price for two years so one is fifty thousand year and one is 31st march 2015 14 and 15. okay now come back to the year 14. opening was one lakh on 1 lakh, we'll have to take interest of 12%, which comes to 12,000. Okay, now cash price plus interest. When you add up the total installment that you're going to pay will be 62,000, which includes your cash price of 50,000 and interest of 12,000. Okay, lastly, opening minus cash price 1 lakh minus 50 will give you 50,000. Again, closing will become next year's opening. Again, uh, 50,000 pay, we have to take interest of 12%, which comes to 6,000. When you add these two, it becomes 56,000. That's the installment value. That is interest plus cash price. Okay. Now, lastly, opening minus cash will become zero. That is nil. So, if you get the final value as nil, meaning your, your, your solution for interest calculation is that. So, which are the two interests in this? One is 12,000 and the other one is 6,000. For the first year, 12, second year, 6,000. That is the very first thing that uh, was supposed to be found. Now, next. They have asked us to now prepare the actual account that is machinery account. Now before before starting machinery account in machinery we have to find something called a depreciation and they have told you use a 20% depreciation rate at reducing balance method. So very simple. A reducing balance means whatever balance you get from that you have to remove your depreciation. So for example on 1st April 13 you bought a machine for 2 lakhs. So on 31st March 14, on 2 lakhs, you will remove 20% which comes to 40,000. That's your debt amount. So, so 2 lakh minus 40,000 is 1 lakh 60. Now that's your balance. Now under reducing balance method, whatever balance you get of the first year on that, you'll have to remove depreciation and go ahead. Okay, now it says in this video, I only asked you to prepare for two years. Okay, so my depreciation account uh, for the next year will be on 1 lakh 60,000. So on 1 lakh 60,000, 
I will remove 20 percent, then I get as 32,000. When you subtract, I get the value as 1,28,000. That's like a calculation of depreciation. Okay. Now, how to prepare machinery account? Very simple. Date particular rupees, date particular rupees. In the first year, always remember, the moment you buy a machine or any asset, it will always be to your higher purchase account. So, on first table 13, to Neil account, because you're purchasing it from Neil, amount is 2 lakhs. Okay, now very simple. We come to the next part that is on 31st March 2014, the last day of the year. By depreciation, first year got debt is 40,000. So we took it 40. We tally, we get the balance as 1,60,000. Last year balance will become this year ka opening balance, 1,60. Again, same thing. You have to replicate. By 31st March 15, we have by depreciation. Our second debt was 32,000. So we have taken it as 32,000. Tally it, whatever answer you get will be your balance. So your balance is 1,28,000 rupees. Okay, so this is how you are to solve machinery account. Secondly, they ask you to find Neil. Neil is a higher purchaser. So a higher purchaser, I need down payment amount, installment amounts and interest. So what we do here is, I'll just show you that table what we already created before. Now from there, very simple. You're adding Neil account, date particular rupees, date particular rupees. Always go in this order. First, on 1st April, you bought a machinery, so buy machine 2 lakhs. On the same day, you made the first down payment so to bank 1 lakh. Okay, now 31st March appeared, so you have a charge with an interest. The first interest was 12,000. So we charged it 12,000. On the same day, you made a you know an installment, a first installment of 62,000. So on 31st March 14, to bank 62,000, first installment. That's it. So, you bought a machine, there was an interest charge, you made the down payment, there was an installment, four things. Once that is done, we tally, we will get our balance. So, balance came to 50,000. Last year, balance will come this year, ka opening balance. Okay, again, on 31st March, there was a down payment of 56,000. And the interest charge was 6,000. So, buy interest to bank, tally, and this, this since this was the last year, you only have to find for two years, so your account got tallied 56,000 on either side. Okay, so this is how you had to solve the sum based on a uh, higher purchase where there was written down value method or reducing balance method was asked. Okay, so now let us see the second question which is there in the paper. Okay, now this is based on factor. Katrina Factors Limited advances a rupees 72 lakhs to Karina Limited against an agreement of providing an advance payment of 80% of receivable for guaranteed payment after three months. The rate of interest is 15% compounded quarterly and factoring commission is 1.5%. Number one, compute the amount actually made available to Karina. So number one, we have computation of the amount actually made available to Karina Limited. Very simple. We will start. First, by the amount of uh, receivables, always remember wherever there is percentage, just divide by the advance amount and you will get your final, you will get your, your, your entire value. So, value of factored receivable will be 72 lakhs divided by 80 percent, we get it as 90 lakhs. Once I get that, it will be less factor, you know, reserve. 80 percent is factor receivable, the reserve will be 20 percent, the remaining percentage. 20 percent of 90 lakhs is 18 lakh, you subtract, you get your advanced value of 72 lakhs. From this, you will subtract your commission. Now, commission given is 1.5%, 1.5% of your uh, receivable. So, commission will be 1.5% of 90 lakhs, which comes to 1,35,000. Second interest, interest they said 15%. So, interest will be on always on your balance, uh, advance amount. So, that will be 72 lakhs into 15% into 3 divided by 12. Okay, so the amount should come to 2,70,000 when you total it, you, okay. So now your advance, less commission, less interest, whatever answer you get will be funds which are made available to Karina Limited, which comes to 67,95,000. Okay, that is the first thing what they asked us to find. Second, calculate the effective cost of funds made available to Karina Limited. If both interest and commissions are collected in advance, so... Collections are given, so we will first note down the collection which have been given the cost function. The second may computation of effective cost of funds made available. 
note down the values of cost which are incurred here the commission and interest is given so first commission was you know we already calculated 1.5 percent of 90 lakhs which comes to 30 lakh 1 lakh 35 thousand second one was interest 72 per 72 lakhs into 15 percent into 3 by 12 which came to 2 lakh 70 which came to total of 4 lakh 5 thousand this is like my cost secondly uh you know the value the value which was given to us Okay, well, so we, we, we note down the effective cost of fund. Effective cost of fund is nothing but the cost which was incurred divided by the funds which are made available into 100. So 4,5,000 divided by 67,95,000 into. Now this is 67,95 is nothing but the funds made available. Okay, this is 67,95,000. Okay, so when you divide and multiply, you get the value as 5.96% per quarter. Now we need to find the annualized rate. So annualized rate is nothing but, you know, 1 plus 0 0.096 raised to the power of 4 minus 1 into 100. Once you solve that, you should get your final answer as 26.05. So this was the second part. Third, assume the interest is collected in arrears and commission in advance. So interest is not there, but commission is there in, in advance. Okay, so see how we solve that sum now. The third part. First, we note on the advance. The advance was 72 lakhs. From that, we will less commission, which was 1 lakh 35,000. You subtract, you get a new funds made available, which is 70 lakh 65,000. There won't be interest because interest is in arrears. Second, we need to find the cost. Cost is nothing but interest and commission. So commission was 1 lakh 35,000. Um, commission was two lakh seventy. Sorry, interest was two lakh seventy thousand. You add up, we got four lakh five thousand. So effective rate was four lakh five thousand divided by seventy lakh sixty five thousand. Again, two hundred. So which came to five point seven three percent per quarter. Now we need to find the annualized rate. So it will be one plus zero point zero five three raised to the power of four minus one into hundred, which comes to twenty four point nine six percent. Okay, so this was, uh, sorry, this was our, this is our effective cost and this was my annualized rate. Okay, this is our annualized rate. So this was the third part of that question which they had asked us to solve. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood with that we will be ending this video here. Thank you.